Welcome back to Sour Grapes Movie Reviews. Today we are going to recap the film Doolittle, It's a Heartwarming Tale. Produced in 2020. So if you are ready let's go. Our movie start with Dr. Donnell, who is known for his exceptional abilities. Because he can talk to animals and treat them, he was famous in all countries, until his fame reached the Queen of England, an invitation was sent to him to give him a nature reserve, and it was open to all animals, he spent his time with the animals, and his heart with Lily the Explorer, and they formed an exceptional team, after a while they became a family, until Lily traveled on a trip alone in the sea, and drowned, he grieved a lot, he closed the nature reserve and isolated from the world, he and his animals who saved her life. One day a person unexpectedly enters Donald's life, and he was a special boy who loves animals, he went out with his uncle on a hunting trip, his uncle tells him, Junior will scare the ducks and you will shoot them, and they implement the plan. But a bullet goes wrong and comes in a squirrel, he tells his uncle I won't help him, but his uncle gives him a knife, and tells him, kill him so that he does not suffer, he leaves him and walks, but he refuses and carries the squirrel. A parrot appears on the tree talking to him and tells him to come behind Dory, until she gets him to the gate of the sanctuary, where the doctor treats the animals, he finds it closed, but the parrot enters him from a corridor secretly, he sees all the animals and birds, a polar bear comes out on him and he was very afraid of him, he turns back and falls into a trap, Dory comes to him quickly, and tries to tell the bear that he will not harm them, Dr. Donald is sleeping, the duck wakes him up and the animals help him to change his clothes, we watch the doctor and he does not care about his appearance after the death of his wife Lily, and he was playing chess by the mice with the gorilla, Dory comes to them and, and talking about the boy, he looks out the window and sees the child hanging in the trap, and says to them as far as I remember I am the only person in this reserve, a girl comes from Buckingham Palace in England, and sees the boy hanging, and tells him she is coming on an important business, can he tell her about Donald Place, a girl named Rose and the boy is Stebbins, he asks her to help him get down, Dory tells the doctor not to ignore humans, maybe they need help and suddenly they hear the door knocking, the doctor pretends that he is dead and also the gorilla, the doctor says to the gorilla Chi, to open and get rid of them. Rose told him she heard the queen say it's a very strange place. Stebbins tells her that he is ready for anything. She opens the door and roars in their face. Stebbins is afraid of him. Chi imitates him and falls to the ground. Rose is surprised by the matter. She says gorilla opens the door. Rose enters through the gate. Chi stands yelling at Stebbins and closes the door. Stebbins tells him that he has a squirrel injured but does not listen to him. Rose enters looking for Donald and sees the animals in the place and also sees the wood of the loot, Donald tells her while he is hiding to go. Rose sees him and says are you okay, he says I am fine but go from here, she says to him you are Donald, the Queen of England asking for you in the palace, and you must know the Queen is very sick, so he tells her to go from here and that he does not care about anyone, anything or any place, and the bear enters and says, you will not believe what we caught in the trap, but Stebbins enters from the window, Donald rings the bell and tells them there is a strange person. Stebbins tells him that he has an injured squirrel and does not know how to behave, the doctor asks him how the squirrel was injured, he tells him that he shot him by mistake, and that it was an accident and begs him for help. Donald catches the squirrel and does artificial respiration for him, Donald tells to the duck dab and the dog jeep, to light the lamps and sterilize the surgical equipment, the animals prepare the operating room, so that he can get the bullet out of the squirrel. Stebbins and Rose watch him, they were shocked that the animals helped Donald, and that he could talk to them and tell him the queen made this land a nature reserve, but if she died, the ministry of the treasury would take it, and this place will disappear, and finish the operation. The squirrel wakes up, Dory tells the doctor to help the queen, the doctor says there are things he no longer does, which is working with humans and getting out of the house, Dory says to him, wake up doctor, if the queen dies, the ministry of the treasury will take this place and they will lose the house, all the animals panicked, when they knew they were going to be expelled, Donald calmed them down, Dory tell him to either help the queen or we leave the place, Donald agrees to help her, animals try to make him look good, Donald appears in his new look, and tells them that the squirrel is fine, and tells Stebbins to go home and, and not shoot anything in the way, Stebbins comes out of the place very sad, and hides in Rose's car, Donald takes Agarwood insect and the animals, he tells them to bring his own transportation, which is an ostrich, they move to the queen's palace until they arrived, Rose says to the guards they are hosted by the queen, we see the queen sleeping in the bed, Dr. Modifley is the private healer, but Digley came to him, he is one of the house of laws, and tell him there was great concern for the health of the queen, and they spoke in a low voice, that she would be lucky if she remained alive for a week, they was conspired against her, 
Donal entered and rose with the animals to the queen room, the guards caught Stebbins who was hiding in Rose's car, he tells them he is a trainer at the doctor, and Rose tells them to leave him, Donal says to him if you are a trainer with me, go get the bags and don't talk, Moody Fly watch them, and says how do you allow the animals to enter the queen room, and he wants to take them out, but he apologizes when he sees they are coming with Rose, Donald tells Jeb to smell her, he smell her and tells him they're a strange smell, it is smell of flowers, and the first time he smells that thing, Donald wanted to know more, Modfly tell the Digley, that he has been studying with Donald for years, and he has a talent for watching, and he tells the Duck Dub, get everyone out of the room, he brought a book about plant species, and he tells Jeb to smell every one of them, until he discovers the queen, has been exposed to moonflower, and there will be a solar eclipse on the 17th of the month, if she does not take the appropriate medicine, she will die, and he distracts their attention, tells them the frame has a beautiful picture, and puts the agarwood insect there to watch, and tells them there is no other solution, than to bring the fruit of Eden, that will cure the queen, Stebbins wanted to go with Donald, and tells him that is dangerous, and begs him to go with him, and that he will not take space, but Donald refuses, Stebbins returns home sad and then goes to sleep, in morning he is surprised because there is a giraffe wake him up, Dory enters he tells her what are you doing here, she tells him she will make him go up to the boat, holding the giraffe in the neck, and they run until he catches up with Donald, they arrive in the place but the boat has moved, and an idea comes to them, he goes to the bridge before the boat, and they lower Stebbins on the boat, as it goes, he jumps off the bridge and descends on the sail, grabs the rope and swings in the air, until he reaches the boat, the animals were happy with what he did, and they helped him stand up, Dory goes to the doctor to talk, but he catches her and throws her away, because I was anger, because she didn't do what he say, he tells her she is embarrassing him in front of the animals, and she convinces him about he needs someone to help him, Donald agrees, and tells him to clean the boat, because he has a shortage of workers, we go to Modfly, but Digley comes in and tells him he will give him a boat, so he goes to Donald and kills him, but the agarwood insect hears them talking, and we go to the doctor, he was teaches Chi how to attack, and gives him confidence in himself. Stebbins was cleaning the boat, and learning the language of animals, the night comes, and the doctor remembers, that Lily wrote everything about her trip, in her notes book, on the morning of the second day, Stebbins was cleaning the boat, and watching a warship close to them, he told the doctor about this, the doctor asked the monkeys to prepare the machine, it was about several musical instruments, that issued a distress sound to the whales, Donald looked through the binoculars to see a mod fly on the warship, and finds that the cannons are directed at them. The doctor makes the boat rotate, and the whale hears the distress sound from the machines, and returns to the boat, the doctor puts a diving suit on, and it was attached to the boat, he goes down to the sea and tells Chi to pull it, they lower a large collar attached to the boat, the bear Yoshi jumps into the sea, until they hold the hoop to the whale, that will enter it and pull the boat, actually the whale enters the hoop, and the doctor tells him they will go to the south, the whale pulls the boat at full speed, Modfly hits shells on the boat, she falls and drops the rope, Stebbins catches the rope at the last moment, and Yoshi climbs into the boat, and they take the doctor out, but the rope is cut off, the doctor appears while he is stuck in the boat, and comes out, thanking Stebbins for saving him, and he escapes from them, Modfly was so angry because they escape, at night, Stebbins asks the doctor, about the map that will take them to the Tree of Eden, he says if we want to know the location of the island, we must go to Mount Freddy, from which Lily was, and she wrote the map in her notes, that was the trip she sank because of it, and the only thing that survived from her journey, which is a notebook, so we must go there and steal notes, he reached Mount Freddy, it was an island of thieves and criminals, Donald was the enemy of the ruler of the island, King Rasoli, who was Lily his daughter, so he must disguise so that he can enter the island, and we see the doctor and Stebbins after disguise, the doctor makes James the Hornet to negotiate with the ants, they well opens the door in exchange for sugar pills, and they open the door to find iron bars, Stebbins tells him that he can pass, Donald objects at first, until James comes and tells him he will help Stebbins in entering, so Donald agrees, and tells him where he will find the notes, Stebbins crosses and enters the room in which the king is, and there are many lions in it, Stebbins can pass over them, and enter the room in which there were the notes, and gold, traces and a lion guarding the place, James tells him that he will watch the lion until he finishes, James stands on his hair he skate until he reached his mouth, so the lion woke up and the king also, Stebbins had seen the notes, but the king arrested him, James went quickly to tell the doctor, but before he do anything they arrested him as well, they imprison them, the king say the note is the only this that left form my daughter Lily, after her boat crash, and you come so easily to steal it, and he will pay for taking Lily away from him, and you know what will happen when you come back, the king takes Stebbins from prison, and closes the door on the doctor, the guard enters, they holding him in a chain, a big tiger enters, and says to him, don't you remember me doctor, 
I am your old patient that you were treating, and when I started to get better, you took the king daughter and ran away, and left me, at the same time the king was eating, with Stevens next to him, and asking him what would happen to Donald. He told him that he will dead, and you were one of us now, James the Hornet arrives at Stebbins, and tells him to deliver a message, to his animal friends in the boat, the doctor can control the tiger, and treat its problems, but the tiger was deceiving the doctor, so he can eat him and attack him. At the same time James arrives to Dory, and tells her what happened, she goes with Yoshi and Chi, so they can save him, Yoshi throws a bomb that explodes, until the king's attention is distracted, and Dory enters from the window, to attacks the tiger, and hits her and she falls, she arrives watching the tiger attacking the doctor and Dory, he attacks, hits him and catches him until he faints, at the same time, Stebbins took the notes, and ran happy, wanted to give it to Donald, but he was surprised by Modafly and his mans, he took the notes from him, and he rides his boat, and destroys the doctor's boat, all the animals see what is happening, and they jump out of the boat before it destroyed, Yoshi jumps into the sea, to save the ostrich, Donald was sad because Modfly took the notes, and the boat was destroyed, and he could not save the queen, he wished to complete what Lily started, and he was very sad for her, the king heard everything he said, saying to him you lost my daughter's diary, and the bear destroyed my village, and the gorilla hit the tiger, the king grabs his knife, and said to him I really wish I could kill you, but I love my daughter more, and if she was there, she would tell you to continue your journey, the king tells him to continue on your way before I change my mind, and gives him a boat to complete what he started, he can walk behind Modfly through the whales, until they find the island of the Tree of Eden. They climb a high mountain, and there was a large cave in it, they enter it, the doctor puts his hand on the rocks, suddenly the rocks came out of a light to show them the way, Modfly found them and arrested them, he asked Donald about the Eden tree. A large fire-breathing dragon come out to them, Modfly falls into a large pit, and the dragon kills his soldiers, the dragon tail comes to Yoshi, so the doctor baits the dragon, but she catches him, and he wraps a tail on him and raises it, the doctor can talk to the dragon, tell her that he knows she there to protect the tree, leave him and tell him to go, but Donald wanted to help her and told her she had problems in her stomach, so he took out everything in her stomach, and the animals were helping him to catch her, and she says to him, this is the first time I met a person like you, how did you manage to bring these animals together, he told her because we love each other, and she helped him to take the fruit of the Eden tree, and we go to the queen, and they wanted to announce the news of her death, Donald and his team arrive, and prevent him from giving the queen the treatment, Donald gives the fruit to Minnie, and throws it to Stebbins, Stebbins takes it and puts it in the queen's mouth, the queen wakes up, to see the giraffe and the rest of the animals in her room, and Donald grabs a agarwood insect, to know what happened in his absence, she told him, Lord Bedigley was the one who poisoned the queen, and that the bottle of poison was in his clothes, the guards searched him and found her with him, and the queen imprisoned him, and thanks the doctor for what he did, Rose introduces steps to the queen, and tells her he saved her life, the doctor comes out of the queen palace, and takes Stebbins and goes to the sanctuary, and opens it to all the animals. Stebbins became the assistant doctor, who quickly learned the language of all the animals, and his family was proud of him. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the movie recap. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And as always stay blessed and may the force be with you.